Hey, I'm out here at this wonderful place. Because we love to see the smiles on the people's faces when they get here. Well, the people that are coming to the museum is all ages. It's, it's kids to, to grandparents. To visit. Yeah, it's really enjoyed uh, by all, all generations. Uh, throughout all the showrooms, we got a total of about 400 cars, okay. uh, but we have a total of 33 exhibits. Right. I know what excites me. I like the TV and movie cars. And then I also know, hey, the kids got to have something too. So that's why we've got like the Disney, uh, we've got a lot of kiddie rides and stuff like that for them. Um, so we try to keep it, you know, not everybody's going to love everything here, but everybody that comes here to is going to love something. You know, we just like people come out and enjoy it and see, you know, enjoy what we've done here. <laughs> and you're all smiles about it. Well, we're all smiles, all smiles. about it. So we're open 362 days a year from uh, 10 to 5. Okay. Uh, we're only closed Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. So if you haven't been to Volo, come check it out and we're gonna go walk around. All right. So we have SpongeBob's boat. Yeah, it's SpongeBob's boat mobile. And then uh, we're just starting off with our part of our Disney gallery. You know, we've been a big collector of Disney, anything from the uh, Disney Moldoramas, uh, this little Herbie here that was from Disney on Ice back in the 70s. And then we've got all these, you know, individual, basically like movie sets. And yeah, those were. Uh, from the Disney stores, they used to have the uh, big displays there, and they yeah. quit doing it. Now uh, these were supposed to go back to Disney and be cut up. They weren't meant for, uh, you know, for general public. It was just strictly for their use. I love that monkey. So we were lucky to get our hands on a lot of that stuff. And then we even got the uh, Disney bus. This used to tour Disney with uh, all the characters on it, and that's uh, that's how you'd meet the characters. You follow the bus, bus would stop, characters would get off, and you'd go meet them. Okay, so do you know the seven dwarves' name? Name? No. I know Dopey. Dopey, Sneezy. Grumpy. Grumpy. Sleepy. They all sleep. I think we might be making some of these up. Grumpy, <laughs> Sleepy, Dopey. Our viewers will know. Okay, we're gonna go study and we'll be back. <laughs> My ride's here. Look at some. My Sierra. Yeah, Cinderella is coach. <laughs> and my slipper. And the mask, right? Yeah, it's the son of the mask. Another horrible movie, but uh, cool car that came out of it. Where do you drive it? Where it says? Where you're supposed to, or what? Does it have any? No, 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 it just drives in the wheel. Actually, uh, they had a national night out with the police department. They, uh, you know, promoting uh, you know the community and that. Yeah. And uh, I drove this car there, so I actually uh, took this thing down the street. I There's bet you a did. A lot of head turn. I bet. <laughs> People didn't know what to think. <laughs> How do you not get pulled over by like a different town or something? Like that's. 
Well, I, I think when you're, you know, on your way to a uh, an event that's put on by the police department, I think that kind of gives you a free pass. How close you are, you can't do it with other towns. <laughs> yeah, but I can pass. just imagine, Captain, like, hey, where you going, bud? So not street legal. Oh, this is amazing. Like, my daughter would have already jumped over and been dancing. Well, we got all this stuff. I couldn't wait to show my kids. Like, oh, wait till you see this. You know, there's Beauty and the Beast and Little Mermaid. And we had all the statues set up. We first just got them. The kids come running in here like, oh, that's neat. And they ran right to the bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't care about the statues. They I, wanted bubble wrap. I don't know which way to go. The Britney Spears now? Or Simba and Mufasa. <laughs> Ah, oh. such a good movie, such a good movie. So Britney Spears, um, most dangerous car in LA, huh? Yeah, that's what TMZ called it. She's in a couple hit and runs with that. This car she was in when she uh, was changing her kid's diaper and was all over the news. Wow. <laughs> yeah, celebrity owned cars, you got Oprah Winfrey, uh, Princess Diana. If you remember when uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor slapped the cop? Yeah. The Rolls Royce that she was driving is over there. Elvis Presley's car. Which one? Elvis is the one with the pink roof over there. Oh, okay. See, this is Disney Hall. I remember it. Dumbo. Right. And Tomater. You wanna go cow tipping with me later? You guys don't know cow tipping. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have any of the uh, the combines. <laughs> Lightning and Queen. Power Wheel came out. My son's second birthday. We had a table set up. And I sent his little car under the table. So we have to crawl under there and get it. When we went under the table, the power wheel was there. He thought it magically turned into a big car. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hanging, I still have it. I yeah. They say they're up in value, so I don't know, we're gonna hang on to it. But they go for a lot of money. Yep. Was this a purchase of yours too, right? Yeah, uh, all three of these here. How hard was it to get this? And Tomator. Pretty difficult. Uh, that one was used for uh, promotions and that. Obviously, it's not from the cartoon. Uh, that tour to Larry the Cable Guy got his autograph and some pictures of him you know, with it. I know we took pictures with it at uh, World of Wheels yeah. in Chicago, yeah. And then we got Herbie here, and this was uh, what they call the personality car. It's the one that comes to life, you know, makes all the facial expressions and uh, stuff like that. We had this at the uh, Chicago Auto Show, and it runs off of a remote control and these two kids walk up and they're looking at it so I blink the eye and they're like oh, man, the car just blinked at us and they're looking the parents are looking at the kids like you know what's yeah, wrong with you, you? <laughs> then the parents are looking at the car and then as soon as the parents look away I blink it again and the kids they just did it again and did it again parents come back over there you know what is wrong with you kids and then the dad finally saw me over there with the remote and started laughing <laughs> that's great I love it Elvis's car huh yeah I can't even imagine Elvis driving this. Can you? <laughs> well, back then he didn't have SUVs. Uh, he had this Cadillac never made a station wagon. He had it converted into a station wagon. That was uh, to run back and forth to the airport. He got all his luggage and stuff in there. So that's that's all it really was, was an uh, airport car. Okay. In that movie theater? Uh, we've got two orientation videos. Uh, we play two small theaters. Well, that's my ride behind us here. The Flintstone Mobile. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's right. That's right. Well, I hope you like hard rock because that's all the music plays. They pedal. Yeah, they pedal with their feet. They would have uh, different versions when they filmed it. When they do a close up, they would show their feet with no floor. 
but then when they're moving around and driving, this is actually on a golf cart, so it's got a floor. You're probably referring to the cartoon itself. Well, in the movie they did it too. Oh, did so yeah, they would have another one just like this that wouldn't drive, uh, but they would show them, you know, with their feet down below, and then they would bring them over to this car, and then they'd start, you know, driving. Man, that concrete is not so all, oh, boy. What is it? Is, what's, what's, it made, what's it made out of? Uh, it's supposed like to be a, concrete. a foam with a, a resin over it. I was going to say, it's a little rough. A little rough. All right. All uh, what's next for Volo? You know, we're never going to stop. What's next? Well, you know, we don't know. We do have... Uh, Coming out, uh, we got our own TV series uh, coming out on the History Channel, so I'd say that's probably our one of our newest ventures that we're going to be doing, and uh, super we'll see, see where that takes us. I'm sure it'll go far. It's super exciting. Um, and when will it air next year? Because you're filming it, it's now. Gonna, right? Yeah, we're filming now, and it'll air uh, this winter, 2017 winter. Okay, we don't want to miss that. Um, myself, U.S. Classic Muscle Cars, the crew, we want to thank you for taking time out today from your horrible job. Oh, absolutely. It's the source. This is my job. It's horrible. What I do. <laughs> Unofficial buying, car shopping, blowing up motors. Yeah, absolutely. We're shopping. So thanks so much. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you.